the pass, and it's caught for a touchdown. And that is his first of his career for rookie James Washington out of Oklahoma State, the second round pick. Finish the sentence for me. My rookie year was? Not what I expected, but you know, I, I learned a lot. I can say, you know, coming back next year, uh, I built a, a foundation and now I can just build off of that. Was there anything that maybe took you by surprise entering the league? Uh, you know, just the speed of the game. It was, it was a lot faster than what I expected. And at times, I guess you could see, and, and then from there on, you know, I just leveled up, just leveled up. What was the hardest transition for you? Well, the, I mean, maybe the hardest part about transitioning from college to the league. Uh, I mean, just, just knowing everything, you know, it was just a lot harder because you're knowing every position, it's not just your position. So it, it, it helped because, you know, when guys go down, some guys may not uh, uh, be healthy that week to go. And uh, you have to play this position, you have, may have to go here, or Ben may want you in this position for a better matchup. So it just it helped the entire offense. How did your relationship with Seven grow? Or maybe did it not grow? Was it the same? Can you maybe take us through that? Well, it was like when I first got here, it was almost like that tough love, I guess. Like, it was like, I like you, but you're not ready yet. So every day it was like he just challenged me and challenged me. And, you know, he ended up having a little talk with me and things kind of got settled out. And, and he just explained to me everything and gave me some pointers to help me get better. A lot of thanks to him. Looking back at it now, did you need that talk? Oh, for sure. For sure. I think it was a lot of help that he did, and I really appreciate it. And in the gun on second and eight, he's back. He throws it long down the right sideline. There's a man open. And a diving effort. Oh, but he, dropped he couldn't oh. hold on. James Washington had three steps on the corner. James Washington. When I came in the huddle, and I told him, I said, hey, we're going to call the same thing that we did in Denver. I want you to make the play. And he did. And to me, that just is, I'm, I'm so proud of him. In the last game, it was the same play that you messed up on in Denver. What did that mean to you that you were able to maybe have a play where it did not help the team and then have one where it worked? I mean, I guess it just shows growth. I mean, just, cause you know, when you're in the game with, with a guy like Seven, it's like, you want to do everything right. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. And, you know, he's just a guy that you've looked up to and watched since you were a kid. So it's like, now you're playing with him and like, your nervous level is just really high and you just got to learn to relax. And, and it just, I don't know, it just, it really helped, you know, for him to just open up and, and, and talk to me. After meeting with Coach Tomlin and your position coach, uh, Coach Drake, what do you need to work on? What do you want to work on this offseason heading into year two? Uh, just better conditioning and, and uh, you know, just running better routes and being more fundamentally sound on the field. And that just that just goes to, you know, this offseason, just maybe calling up Mason and, and, and doing some stuff together and, and mostly majority of that and just talking ball. Is it nice that you have this comfort level with Mason from college now to the Steelers that you guys can work together uh, in this offseason? Oh, for sure. You know, he always said, I'm just a phone call away, you know. Whatever you need, questions, anything, just call me. So we, we worked a lot trying to get our football IQ up.